Hello everybody. I'm going to make some bedroom soap today. I'm going to try to uh, swirl it. I want to see how that works out. But before I get started, I want to show you what I do with about every uh, uh, recipe I make. I've got my recipe printed out on this sheet. And it lists all the, uh, all the different ingredients. It tells me how much water and how much light to mix. And then I have some notes. I may put some notes down here at the bottom. What I'm trying to do this this way, I don't make any mistakes. I've got it all printed out, and then the, uh, I can duplicate the recipe almost identical every time. That, that, that's just something, something I want to share with you. But anyway, let's get started with this. For the color, I'm going to be using some cocoa. Uh, you just buy it in the supermarket. Makes a nice chocolate brown color. In the past, uh, I just made it a solid color. Today, I'm going to try to make it a, a swirl. I'll be taking a, a, a little bit of the solution out. I'll be mixing it up in this dish. So I have a dark color. It's kind of like making a marble cake. got my oils prepared already. I mix my lye water in a pitcher and then I set it down inside another bucket full of water to help it cool down quicker. If the water is about this deep then, then I'll set it in a bucket of water so it's about the same level. Otherwise it could take two or three hours for this solution to cool down. As soon as you throw the lye into it, it's going to uh, come up almost to boiling point in a matter of about ten seconds. That, that's why people think the uh, sodium hydroxide is so dangerous. It, it's just you, you just have to use caution around it. That it's not not that harmful. I always wear a pair of safety glasses. Anytime I'm handling it or mixing it. This is uh, some some clay I have. I'm gonna be putting uh, one tablespoon of this in here. It helps hold the fragrance and it gives you a, a, a gives your soap a real nice property. It's not not uh, uh, real gritty. It's kind of like a, a fine, uh, almost flower-like. And there's different grades, different grades. What I mean by that is that when you change from one type to another, it, it can uh, affect how aggressive your soap will be. Generally, you can put two or three tablespoons in here. I usually put one tablespoon in, and it gives your uh, uh, skin a, a, a like a polished feeling afterwards. It's not really uh, abrasive. Sometimes when I make the oatmeal, I'll, I'll grind the uh, oats into a flour like this, and I'll put it in the uh, oil before I add any of the water. And I think the uh, mixer helps break break it up a lot better. It's not as uh, uh, gritty when you get done. Anyway, I've got a stick blender here. It's a common stick blender. It's, I don't know, they're $15 at the store. They're not expensive. And what I do is I'll mix the oil a little bit to make sure that they're, they're uh, well blended. This is about 45% saturated oils or, or solid oils, solid at room temperature. I'll try to stir this flour in just a little bit to clay before I hit it with the mixer. I always mix it on low. Some of the oils, like wheat germ, if you don't mix it uh, uh, with the uh, olive oils before you start making the soap, it won't give you the uh, uh, antioxidant properties. Sometimes you can add vitamin E, or some of your oils may have vitamin E already added. I'm trying, trying to think of a liquid. Uh, I mean, I think I think corn oil has vitamin E in some brands, and there there's several. You just read the label, and it'll tell you. But I, I make sure it's uh, well blended together before I add the water. 
as soon as I get the water stirred into here, I'm going to take a cup of it out into this dish and start mixing the color with it. This sets up fairly quickly, so I don't want to mix it very long or it'll be so thick I can't work with it. So I take the water here, and I add it slowly. Some people add it real fast, and, and then the soap changes colors. You see, I'm not pouring it really fast. Stop and give a little stir. Usually on these vegetable soaps, it takes about 10 minutes from when you add the water until it's so, so thick that you can't put it in mold. So do you notice that it started to get a, a slight custard to it? You need to start getting ready to stick it in the mold. I want to be adding color to this so I don't want to stir it much at all. Hope you can see that. Take about a cup of this. I'm going to add a tablespoon of this chocolate. is about empty. I'm going to take a little whisk. I'm going to work this in. I should have had a bigger bowl. See that dark chocolate color? By the way, this is the first time I, I've tried swirling with this chocolate. So it's a new experience. But I want to try some try out something unique this uh, Christmas. I also donate some of my soaps to this uh, women's shelter. So the name of it is a uh, safe space. I think they're uh, uh, I think it's ncsafespace.org, but I'll put a link on this uh, a YouTube video so you can check them out as well. They're always needing some some donations, material items, cash, whatever you can do. So it's still pr pretty much a liquid. It starts looking like banana pudding. I need to get it poured in the mold. It's starting to thicken up a little bit. One thing I wanted to show you is, is my wet molds here. They've got freezer paper in them. You cut a piece of the width of here, and then you cut it in half, and then you fold it across the ends. And this one ends right about here. And then you uh, lay the paper through there again, and I always tape it down. And these these uh, have tabs on, so you can pull them, but, or you can slide a knife under there and just pop the tape off. Some people fold the ends around, and it's just a waste of time. But 
what I'll do is I'll set these in the oven and I'll get them good and warm about just barely turn it on and warm for an, about an hour then I'll rub Vaseline in the corners and then if it does leak through it it doesn't stick very bad you scrape it off fairly easy it's starting to thicken up now you see it's not dripping off the tool as fast